CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 7 Chapter 7 Congruence of Triangles Page 133 7.1 Introduction You are now ready to learn a very important geometrical idea congruence. In particular, you will study a lot about congruence of triangles. To understand what congruence is, we turn to some activities. Do this. Take two stamps, figure 7.1, of same denomination. Place one stamp over the other. What do you observe? One stamp covers the other completely and exactly. This means that the two stamps are of the same shape and same size. Such objects are said to be congruent. The two stamps used by you are congruent to one another. Congruent objects are exact copies of one another. Can you now say, if the following objects are congruent or not? 1. Shaving blades of the same company. Figure 7.21 2. Sheets of the same letter pad. Figure 7.22 3. Biscuits in the same packet. Figure 7.23 4. Toys made of the same mould. Figure 7.24 Page 134 The relation of two objects being congruent is called congruence. For the present, we will deal with plain figures only. Although congruence is a general idea applicable to three-dimensional shapes also. We will try to learn a precise meaning of the congruence of plane figures already known. 7.2 Congruence of Plane Figures Look at the two figures given here. Figure 7.3 Are they congruent? Figure 7.3 Here, two figures F1 and F2 are shown. You can use the method of superposition. Take a trace copy of one of them and place it over the other. If the figures cover each other completely, they are congruent. Alternatively, you may cut out one of them and place it over the other. Beware, you are not allowed to bend, twist or stretch the figure that is cut out or traced out. In figure 7.3, if figure F1 is congruent to figure F2, we write F1, sign of congruency, F2. 7.3 Congruence among line segments When are two line segments congruent? Observe the two pairs of line segments given here, figure 7.4. Figure 7.4 1. Here two line segments AB and CD are shown. 2. Here two line segments PQ and RS are shown. Use the trace copy superposition method for the pair of line segments in figure 7.41. Copy line segment CD and place it on line segment AB. You find that line segment CD covers line segment AB with C on A and D on B. Hence, the line segments are congruent. We write line segment AB, sign of congruency, line segment CD. Repeat this activity for the pair of line segments in figure 7.42. What do you find? They are not congruent. How do you know it? It is because the line segments do not coincide when placed one over other. 
you should have by now noticed that the pair of line segments in figure 7.41 matched with each other because they had same length and this was not the case in figure 7.42. If two line segments have the same, that is, equal length, they are congruent. Also, if two line segments are congruent, they have the same length. Page 135 In view of the above fact, when two line segments are congruent, we sometimes just say that the line segments are equal and we also write AB is equal to CD. What we actually mean is AB is congruent to CD. 7.4 Congruence of Angles Look at the four angles given here. Figure 7.5 Figure 7.5 1. Angle ABC is equal to 40 degrees. 2. Angle PQR is equal to 40 degrees. 3. Angle LMN is equal to 30 degrees. 4. Angle XYZ is equal to 40 degrees. Make a trace copy of angle PQR. Try to superpose it on angle ABC. For this, First place Q on B and QP along ray BA. Where does ray QR fall? It falls on ray BC. Thus, angle PQR matches exactly with angle ABC. That is, angle ABC and angle PQR are congruent. Note that the measurement of these two congruent angles are same. We write, angle ABC is congruent to angle PQR. That's equation 1. Or, M angle ABC is equal to M angle PQR. In this case, measure is 40 degrees. Now, you take a trace copy of angle LMN. Try to superpose it on angle ABC. Place M on B and ray ML along ray BA. Does ray MN fall on ray BC? No, in this case it does not happen. You find that angle ABC and angle LMN do not cover each other exactly. So, they are not congruent. Note that, in this case, the measures of angle ABC and angle LMN are not equal. What about angles XYZ and angle ABC? The rays YX and YZ respectively appear, in figure 7.54, to be longer than rays BA and BC. You may hence think that angle ABC is smaller than angle XYZ. But remember that the rays in the figure only indicate the direction and not any length. On superposition, you will find that these two angles are also congruent. We write, angle ABC is congruent to angle XYZ. That's equation 2. Or, M angle ABC is equal to M angle XYZ. In view of equation 1 and equation 2, we may even write, angle ABC is congruent to angle PQR, which is congruent to angle XYZ. If two angles have the same measure, they are congruent. Also, if two angles are congruent, their measures are same. Page 136 As in the case of line segments, congruency of angles entirely depends on the equality of their measures. So, to say that two angles are congruent, 
we sometimes just say that the angles are equal and we write angle ABC is equal to angle PQR to mean angle ABC is congruent to angle PQR. 7.5 Congruence of Triangles We saw that two line segments are congruent where one of them is just a copy of the other. Similarly, two angles are congruent if one of them is a copy of the other. We extend this idea to triangles. Two triangles are congruent if they are copies of each other and when superposed, they cover each other exactly. Figure 7.6 Here, two triangles ABC and PQR are shown. Triangle ABC and triangle PQR have the same size and shape. They are congruent. So, we would express this as triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. This means that when you place triangle PQR on triangle ABC, P falls on A, Q falls on B and R falls on C. Also falls along line segment AB. Line segment QR falls along line segment BC and line segment PR falls along line segment AC. If under a given correspondence, two triangles are congruent then their corresponding parts, that is, angles and sides that match one another are equal. Thus, in these two congruent triangles, we have corresponding vertices A and P, B and Q, C and R, corresponding sides, Line segment AB and line segment PQ, line segment BC and line segment QR, line segment AC and line segment PR. Corresponding angles, angle A and angle P, angle B and angle Q, angle C and angle R. If you place triangle PQR on triangle ABC such that P falls on B, then should the other vertices also correspond suitably? It need not happen. Take trace, copies of the triangles and try to find out. This shows that while talking about congruence of triangles, not only the measures of angles and lengths of sides matter, but also the matching of vertices. In the above case, the correspondence is A corresponds to P, B corresponds to Q, C corresponds to R. We may write this as ABC corresponds to PQR. Page 137 Example 1 Triangle ABC and triangle PQR are congruent under the correspondence ABC is corresponding to RQP. Write the parts of triangle ABC that correspond to 1. Line segment PQ 2. Angle Q 3. Line segment RP Solution For better understanding of the correspondence let us use a diagram, figure 7.7. .7. Here in this figure, 
two triangles ABC and PQR are shown in which point A is connected to point R, point B is connected to point Q, point C is connected to point P. The correspondence is ABC corresponds to RQP. This means A corresponds to R, B corresponds to Q and C corresponds to P. So, 1. Line segment PQ corresponds to line segment CB. 2. Angle Q corresponds to angle B and 3. Line segment RP corresponds to line segment AC. Think, discuss and write. When two triangles, say ABC and PQR are given, there are in all six possible matchings or correspondences. Two of them are 1. ABC corresponds to PQR and 2. ABC corresponds to QRP. Find the other four correspondences by using two cutouts of triangles. Will all these correspondences lead to congruence? Think about it. Exercise 7.1 1. Complete the following statements. A. Two line segments are congruent if dash B. Among two congruent angles, one has a measure of 70 degrees. The measure of the other angle is dash C. When we write angle A is equal to angle B, we actually mean dash. 2. Give any two real life examples for congruent shapes. 3. If triangle ABC is congruent to triangle FED, under the correspondence ABC corresponds to FED, write all the corresponding congruent parts of the triangles. 4. If triangle DEF is congruent to triangle BCA, write the part or parts of triangle BCA that correspond to 1. Angle E 2. Line segment EF 3. Angle F 4. Line segment DF you were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Samya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.